This is Ian Prudy from the Retro Computer Shack. In this video, I'll show you how to connect a Commodore Amiga computer to a TV via the SCART input. Um, this connection method gives the best quality picture possible with the uh, Amiga computers. To do that, you'll need my RGB SCART lead. Uh, before I uh, just show you the connections, just a quick note about the connector on the SCART lead I now use. That's the um, original 23 pin video connector that would normally be used on the SCART leads. However, this has been discontinued quite some time ago now. So, I use a 25-way connector and I cut off two pins carefully and then file and sand to finish off as good as possible. Um, it's still got most of the metal casing intact, so it still provides good uh, protection for the plastic connector inside. And as the metal casing is grounded, it still provides good shielding uh, from external interference. This is the connector on the back of the uh, Amiga, which is a 25 pin, a 23 pin rather. And I'll just show you the actual connection. As you can see, it fits nice and snugly. Uh, it fits perfectly okay. The only difference being is you can only secure the connector with the left locking screw. The right locking screw won't line up because that's a 25 way and that's a 23 way, so it's two pins out. However, even without any uh, locking screw, it's still very secure and snug. Just wanted to make that very transparent because I don't like any deception with my uh, adverts. You'll also see very clear pictures on the eBay advert for the Scartley before you buy it. Right, let's have a look at the connections to the Amiga. This procedure is the same for all the Amigas that my SCART lead is compatible with. When you buy the lead, it'll show you all the models that it'll work with. Um, the only difference being is the connectors are in different places on the back. So we need to, first of all, connect the video side, which on the 500 is the IGB video right at the end there. So pop that in there. Then we need to connect the audio up. The Black audio is the left channel and the red audio is the right channel. Um, the audio lead sends sound through the SCART lead to the TV. Uh, and if your TV has a stereo sound, then you'll get stereo sound from both uh, from left and right channels. Okay, that's the, well, we need the power, which on the 500 goes in the side. And I'll also just plug a joystick in just so we can uh, run the game, which I think needs the joystick. So that's all the connections on the Amiga end. The uh, SCART plug um, goes into the back of the TV. It's already connected on this one, so we don't need to do that. Um, I'm currently using uh, gold-plated SCART plugs and gold-plated audio leads as well. For, uh, the best picture I can get out of it. Okay, so we've got that connected. The SCART plug's connected into the back of the TV. This SCART lead um, is also wired for auto AV switching, um, as is a suitable 12 volt signal that is applied to pin 8 on the SCART lead, which is the AV switching. So on most TVs, it'll switch the TV automatically onto the SCART socket input and switch it into 4 3 aspect ratio, which is the correct uh, aspect ratio for all the uh, retro computers. Just to show you on that one, I'm just going to switch the TV on. Uh, I'll switch that light out, then we don't get the glare on the screen. And just uh, zoom in on the TV a bit. So, as you can see, I've turned the TV on. And at the moment, the input selected is the TV, not SCART. So I'll just exit that, and then I'll switch the Commodore Amiga on and it should switch into EXT, which it has done. The focusing is just the video camera. Once we get a bit of a picture, it'll focus, there we go. Um, as you can see, the source is now automatically switched to EXT, which on this TV is the SCART input. So I'll just come out of that. And you can also hear sound as well, which is uh, stereo sound coming from the TV. I'll just zoom in a little bit better so we can see that. And switch this light out.
If it loses focus a little bit, that's just a video camera. It's not uh, what you'll see on the TV. So we can get that to fire up the screen, then you can see a little bit better with the picture. And you should get a good quality um, colour picture with stereo sound. Um, you also need to set the um, aspect ratio to 4.3. It will work in 16.9 mode, but it will get a, uh, a very stretched screen. So 4.3 aspect ratio is the normal uh, one to have that in. Well, that's about it. That seems to uh, have worked fine. It, for most people, that should be all you need to do because the Amiga is very compatible. It's fa in fact, it's probably the most compatible of all the uh, of the, of the uh, retro computers. Um, I'll just switch that light back on. If you do get any problems, click the links below the video um, and you'll be able to pick up this uh, video troubleshooting guide and download that. Also, all my RGB SCART leads are compatible uh, with these professional HDMI SCART to video converters. Uh, the RetroSync, the OSSC and this low cost one that I recommend as well. However, I'll do a different video for that. Uh, so if you want any information about that, look out for the next video. Well, that's about all from me uh, for this video. I hope you find that useful and I'll be back soon with more.